I've got a Babe Ruth baseball card for your consideration. Damn, this thing's graded a 10? Yeah, it's actually one of about a half dozen cards that exist from his playing days in a PSA 10 condition. So it's very rare, very valuable, very cool. OK, um, well, I mean, I'm just amazed that it's graded a 10. It's rarely you see any baseball card graded a 10. I like it, it's cool. But god, the image sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it from another collector. I've been collecting since I was five years old, just scrounging for baseball cards anywhere I can get them. You know, now I'm kind of more into uh, finding baseball cards that I can share with my grandkids and kind of bring the love of the game and the love of baseball cards to them as well. I mean, what kind of card is this? This is actually a strip card. This was a, a kind of card that candy store owners had, and they would give these to kids as a premium when they bought candy. OK, so there was like um, a so roll a long, of them? It was a long strip, a long roll of them. And they would just use scissors and cut them off. What do you want to do with it? I'd like to sell it if I could get the right price. OK, and that number is? $60,000. That is a lot of money for a baseball card. I mean, this is a one-of-a-kind card. There's not another one like it anywhere. These aren't certainly by far the most attractive cards, but make no mistake, I mean, this is one of the rarest cards of Babe Ruth being that has created a perfect PSA 10. You know, back in the early 1900s, even up to the 20s, they weren't meant for a long-term collectible. You know, these were marketing tools. Going back to 1923, baseball was in its infancy. I mean, we had emerging stars like Babe Ruth. We had seasoned veterans like Ty Cobb. Kids and collectors really didn't have any long-term outlook on how to care for these cards. So the fact that this one's graded a perfect PSA 10, I and mean, that's practically unheard of. OK, so the big thing is, how much is this thing worth? Well, I mean, just to put things into perspective, Babe Ruth, no doubt about it, the most highly touted player in the history of the game. His earliest card from 1914, in terrible condition, albeit much more scarce, sold for almost half a million bucks. So his cards, it can go for quite a bit of money. Now, these strip cards, this is the only 10 I've ever heard of. Um, as a 7 and an 8, they sell for 1000 bucks really consistently. As a 10, I would say it'd be worth about 12000 15000 bucks. I mean, I know it's not the 60000 you're hoping for, but uh, the one thing with this series, it just isn't valued the same way as a lot of other cards that were circulated in packs. OK, thanks, man. You got it, man. So I don't have better news for you, man. All right, well, that's all right. Thanks. I think he's a little low on his estimate. I mean, I kind of doubted that I was going to get the price I wanted for it, but I thought I'd be able to come a little closer than that. No, I, I mean, I'm thinking I'd give you eight grand for it. You know, Jeremy does this for a living. Uh, the way I look at it, if he says that's what it's worth, that's probably what it's worth. I'm not going to be able to come down that far. I mean, okay, so probably the worth? lowest, my bottom dollar price would be like 40 grand. Obviously, we're not going to have a deal, because uh, yeah. eight grand's it. Right. OK. OK, well, I appreciate you taking a look at it. And uh, come back in if you change your mind. OK, thanks. Thanks, man. I thought the appraisal was really lower than what true market value is on this card. I think I'll just hold on to it. I'm confident that I'm going to get my price eventually. And if I don't sell it, I'm happy with you know, just willing it to my grandkids someday.